This is Ekrin. <laughs> Nearly 20 years ago, I came here and I found a larva in the stem of this stuff. This is creeping thistle. Circean repens, if I remember right. At the time, although I knew the caterpillar was of a tortoise species, didn't know exactly which. It turned out we could narrow it down to one of two species. Epiblema scutellana or Epiblema circeana. I read the moth through and the moth was eventually confirmed as being Epiblema scutellana. What's so special about that? So you all say, well, at the time, the information that Epiblema scutellana larva fed on the insides in the pith of the stems of creeping thistle was new to science. It was a proper feather in my little cap it was. And I'm back here today to see whether the moth is still here. And it should be, as it's a common enough species here in Nottinghamshire. Now this isn't an easy species to look for, but if it's present on a particular clump or stand of Circean repens, which is the creeping thistle, a good chance that the caterpillar is present. Sometimes there is an outward sign that the larva is present within a stem. And that outward sign is a tiny hole, usually just under a joint somewhere, but the hole is little more than a millimetre in diameter. And it is very hard to spot. The best way to look for the larva, snap off a stem, usually about a foot from the ground, and then it's a case of using your fingernail, splitting the stem and working your way up. The stem is usually clear and hollow if there's no larva present but as you work your way up if there is a larva in there you'll start and see evidence of larval feeding and an accumulation of frass but the frass will be the same color as the inside of the stem this one is larva free Success. Found one. Bring it in for a closer look. So here's the one I found, and I'll try and keep this in focus. Split the stem. This is about a foot from the ground, and you can see how clean that is. Nothing's eaten that at all. I feed that down. Now you can start and see. The frass appearing at the top of the screen you will now see the larva and there's the larva of Epiblema scutellana they're always this lovely red color sometimes they've become darker than that but you can see this is all the frass and the larva is well protected in that stem. It's just something that you can go and look for now. It might take you a while, but if everything was easy, there'd be no point in living at all, would there? And I've looked on the outside of this, and I can't find any outward sign of any hole. Although, obviously, the larva before pupating will make an exit hole. So, if you happen to be looking at some stems of 
creeping thistle that are two years old, you can get exit holes where, because it's two years old, the larva has completed its life cycle and vacated the stem. So here we are. A little something for you to go out and find now. So this is the larva of Epiblema scutellana. Chances are Epiblema cerciana could also feed in creeping thistle. We just don't know, at least as far as I know. So what we'll do, we'll close that back up. And what I'll do, I'll take this stem home, secure this again with some black cotton and wait for the moth to emerge. Ah, we've got a second. And here's the second larva. Once again, snapping the stem off about a foot from the ground. That way you ensure that if there's a larva present, it's above where you've snapped it off. Began to open up the stem using my thumbnail. Very quickly saw the frass that had built up here. Continued to open this up. And there is this larva tucked in. This one's paler. But same species, no doubt. Epiblumia scutellana. So, I'll close this back up. When I get home, I'll tie this stem up with some black thread. All the colours are available, of course, and of personal choice. And I'll pop it in a container and await pupation, which occurs within the stem, and then the moths will emerge. I do have photos of the moths, so I'll put a photo in so you'll see exactly what the moth is like. And it really is a very attractive, marked moth, beautiful, as are most micro moths. Absolutely gorgeous little moth. But unfortunately, visually identical almost to Epiblema cerciana. So if you do go out, look for these caterpillars, easy enough to rear them through, and then send the specimen county recorder who can then verify the record well there we are a simple if maybe painstaking procedure but if you do go looking for this caterpillar of Epiblema scutellana or Epiblema cerciana it's useful information information which a county recorder will certainly welcome you'll probably have very few records of the larva of either moth. So it's a good thing you can get out and about now and look for. And they're very easy to rear through, there's nothing to it. Just put these stems in a container and wait and the moths will appear in several weeks' time. Lovely jubbly.